And he decided that uh, he would send his son Ambrose down to the meetings in Ottawa to try and keep the Eastern Canada Hockey League together. Okay. Because uh, he owned the Renfrew Creamery Kings. Right. We were called that because of the huge creamery we had here down the old railroad station. Right. And it supported Ontario for creamery and butter and so on. And so he wanted, and he owned, he owned uh, Cobalt and Haleberry teams too. Two other teams. So he wanted, to, he wanted to win the Stanley Cup. In those days, the Stanley Cup was just a, it was just the top of like, just the very top of that stuff is the Stanley Cup, and it's just the original one. And so he wanted to win that. It was a challenge cup. It was just an amateur challenge right. cup. And so he wanted to win that, so he wanted that league to stay in business. Okay. And it wasn't a business, it was amateurs. Yes. Anyway, his son phoned him and said, no, Dad, it's not working, it's falling apart. So his dad said, let's start our own. We'll call it the National Hockey Association. Yes. And because he was an entrepreneur, let's charge admission and pay our players. Okay. And we'll make it a professional league. Now, in order to do that, he didn't really care for the Montreal Maroons and so on. So he says, I'm going to create another team in Montreal so you can be national. Mm -hmm. And we're going to create the Montreal Canadiens. Right. So he created them in 1909 as well, the Montreal Canadiens. Okay. And so anyways, the point being that the NHA got going. And it was doing pretty good. And then along came the First World War. And young men were all over fighting overseas. The right. population of Canada was less than 2 million. People were either farming or whatever. And so the, the attendance in small towns was dropping it's off exactly to nothing. Exactly there. Okay, because they had old men like me playing hockey instead <laughs> of young guys. And, and so anyways, the attendance falling off. So some people came along by 1917 and said, look, this is a great idea. I think there's a real future in this kind of professional hockey, but we have to take it to bigger towns. We can't have small towns right and of course they'd never Renfrew had never been won the cup yet right and they were known as the Renfrew millionaires even though their name was the creamery kings because he was paying in 1909 cyclone taylor five thousand dollars for 12 games New Zealand alone four thousand the patrick brothers big money so they nicknamed them the millionaires so i think believe uh, at the time cyclone taylor was the highest paid athlete in the world oh, yes yes of course for yeah. such a small town to have uh, the pay <laughs> yeah which was unreasonable you know and especially for 12 games that's right. what the season was you know? <laughs> exactly so they did and then anyway entrepreneurs came along and said we'll take it over so it took a little while for everybody to agree everybody did agree except the toronto owner of the toronto team at that okay. time it was a battalions that was the name of the team at that time so they took it over they got rid of renfrew they got rid of haleberry they got rid of cobalt but they kept the canadians they kept ottawa who was in it mm -hmm. the senators and they kept the uh, toronto team in for a while until he sued and uh then so they were okay and then montreal and of course the montreal canadians they had that going and then because mr livingston who owned this toronto team sued they didn't want him really around anyway right but because he sued they changed the name temporarily to the nhl from okay. the nha and the president of the NHA became the president of the NHL. Everybody switched the same positions, just to change the team name. Right. And then, of course, the lawsuit didn't get settled. This thing took place in December, and so they had to get playing, and so they had to get going right, right away. away yeah. And the NHL name stuck. Of course, once you drive the stake in the ground, it's going to make That's its impression. <laughs> it's going to stay. Exactly. You can't be switching back and forth.